Hi everyone, um, this video is for y'all. It is going over the Shopify concerns for point of sale that we've uh, been collecting for the past couple of weeks. Um, all of you know the basics, but I'm gonna go over just some of the basics anyway, um, just from beginning of day to end of day. So the first thing you do when you come in, you open up the iPad and you go to register. And I've already been playing with this a little bit this morning. Um, so it's already open, the tracking session but it'll say start tracking session um, and that's what you will do at the beginning of the day before there's ever a sale so we're going to go back um, home right here is where the card is the register so the first thing we're going to do um, is add customer and i know this is something that's easy to forget um, today is august the 4th and as recent as yesterday, August the 3rd, there were a couple of sales without the customer name. So just make sure that you add the customer first because unlike QuickBooks, you can go all the way to the end of the sale without adding the customer. So I'm gonna use myself as an example today. Okay, so right here I wanna point out, my name is here. My points with Marcello, our loyalty points are right here. Right now they're grayed out because I don't have anything in the cart, but if you watch this, when I add something to the cart, my points are gonna show up right there. So as soon as a customer with points has an item in their cart, it will go to, from gray to highlighted, and you'll be able to easily see their points. And if they have a reward, it'll show up right underneath the points. So there's no question. Um, some of you have asked about pop-ups for the points. Basically, this is the pop-up. It's always there, but it's grayed out until there is something in the cart. Um, and naturally, if they have under 500 points, it's not gonna have a reward. So if the customer says, do I have a reward? You can very easily just look at this little area right here and know if they do. Okay, so I'm gonna add a few more things to the cart. Okay, so I was playing around with these earlier, but this is why they say out of stock. I need to put them back into stock. But, um, you know, obviously if you see something that's out of stock, um, go ahead and sell through it like we normally do, but make a note of what you're selling through so you can go back into Shopify admin, have Kathy do it, text me, I can do it. Um, League City Kim can do it. Um, there are some of you that know how to do it, but this is an issue. We need to make sure that if you see something that shows up in the cart um, that's out of stock, that you address it in the admin. Obviously, we're gonna sell through it because the customer has it in their hand, but it does need to be addressed after the sale. All right, so we're going to go to checkout. And the reason we're gonna do this is a split sale. Um, a split transaction is one of the concerns and the questions. And I'm not going to complete it because once you accept payment, um, in this point of sale system, you can't get out of the sale. So I'm gonna go to checkout. Okay, and um, a lot of people are asking how to get out of the sale. If you get here, right here, and you wanna get out of the sale, you just go to cancel. Um, if you're here, you can go to clear cart and that will trash the cart. But we're gonna go to payment. All right, so we've got our payment options, cash, gift card, check, and all of our external terminals, and you can just do Fat Merchant if you want to. For a split <coughs> payment, you're gonna to get to the very bottom, and you're gonna hit split payment. Um, I've got a bill of $143.43. I'm gonna pay $50 in cash. And rather than do done here, because I don't want to throw us off um, for the day with our cash, you would click done here, and underneath it, you're gonna say it's you're gonna pick cash or gift card or check or external terminal. Once I do that, then and do done, payment two is gonna pop up. Payment two is gonna have the balance, which is gonna be right here. It's still gonna be in the area, and you'll you pick the second form of payment and you'll go through that process. Um, it's really easy. All you have to do is just always remember to do split payment. So um, that is how you do a split payment. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of this sale and I'm going to trash this cart because we're going to go to another area.